This lesson is going to be about deriving a potential divider equation. So the two resistors you see on the board make a potential divider and we need something to divide so we'll start off by adding a potential in the form in this case of a battery. And we're going to give that potential a value. So we'll make the bottom 0 volts and we'll note the top V in. And later on we'll give this some numbers. Now we divide our battery voltage and we want to get something out so we need to measure the output voltage. We'll use a voltmeter and our voltmeter will measure a voltage V out. And the question is if we know V in and we know the resistors what's the value of V out? So the V in at the top will make some current flow down through our resistors. We'll get the same current through both resistors. So here's our first main assumption. We assume that no current flows this way. And that's an important assumption because it's not always true and your potential divider equation doesn't work if it's not true. So let's go and find our very useful maths equations. We know V equals IR rearrange that I equals V over R. So that's where we're going to start from. They're super important. So we'll make them look super important. So if we consider the two resistors in series, then the input voltage makes a current, shown in red, flow through the total resistance, which is R1 plus R2. The total resistance is this one here and this one here. That's the total resistance and that's what the current's flowing through. And we also know that for the voltmeter V out is given by IR. Now which R? Well the voltmeter is attached to R2 so it's R2. So if we combine those two together, this one and this one, we get V out equals V in R2 over R1 plus R2. And that's our potential divider equation. Very straightforward derivation from Kirchhoff's laws and the resistor equation. Let's do a numerical example. Pick a new colour. We'll make this 12 volts. We'll make this resistor down here, let's say 18k. We'll make this resistor up here, let's say 6k. And the question is, what does the voltmeter read? So in our equation, V out equals V in, which is 12, times by R2, which is 18k, divided by the R1, which is 6k, plus R2, which is 18k, which is equal to 12 times 18 divided by 6 plus 18 is 24. Now you may wonder where the k's have gone, well they've cancelled out, so therefore we can do the math and find that V out equals 12 divided by 24 is a half, 18 times a half is 9. So we get 9 volts on our voltmeter. We're going to look at the same problem but this time we're going to use the method of ratios. So we've got the same two resistors. Let's add on the same battery we had last time and we will add on a voltmeter but we're not going to label it V out. So we have at the top we have V in, we have zero volts down the bottom but this time we're going to label it V2 and the reason we do that is because there's another voltage here which we've not looked at yet and that's the voltage across the top resistor V1 and if I wanted to I could take a voltmeter and measure the voltage across the top resistor. Now the battery voltage is going to make some current flow the current flows down through both resistors the current's the same in both cases as it was before 
and we can take our very important relationship I equals V over R and apply this to each of the two resistors in turn so for top resistor I equals V1 over R1 for bottom resistor I equals V2 over R2 the two currents are the same because no current flows in the voltmeters so combining these two equations together we can get V1 over R1 equals V2 over R2 which doesn't actually look any easier but if we rearrange it we get V1 over V2 equals R1 over R2 and that's important because they're simply ratios so it shows you the voltages depend on the ratio of resistors not the actual resistors themselves. There's one more thing to notice which is very important that the supply voltage V in is equal to V1 plus V2 one of Kirchhoff's laws. So using these equations we can now solve our numerical example and to show you it works we'll do the same example. We'll have 12 volts here we'll have this top resistor being 6 kilo ohms we'll have this bottom resistor being 18 kilo ohms and we'll see if we can work out what the voltage V2 is. So let's have a look by starting to think about the ratios. So the two resistors are in the ratio of 6 to 18 which is the ratio 1 to 3. So that means this one is 1 and this one here is 3 times bigger which means this voltage is 1 and this is 3 times bigger. Now it doesn't mean that this voltage here is 1 volt. That's not what it means. It means that this voltage here is 3 times bigger than the top one. So let's see if we can work out what they are. So what we should do is we should be able to find that V1 plus V2 has got to add up to 12 volts, the supply voltage, but V2 has got to be 3 times bigger than V1. So just by inspection if we make this 3 volts and we make this 9 volts V2 is 3 times bigger than V1 and they are up to 12 and therefore very simply V out is 9 volts.